back! I, I really want to stop off like that, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Anyway, welcome back. Uh, we're back. Uh, another episode of uh, Avatar the, the Legend of Aang. And this episode, uh, Aang and the gang went to a Fire Nation place. You know, they're like having a big party. Uh, Aang wants to learn firebending, and uh, apparently they get caught out. And um, and then they were saved by this one guy who's also a firebender who saves them and takes them to John John, a firebending master who was once a uh, who once worked for the Fire Nation but left um, because and lived yeah and lived and, lived. Uh, and uh, you know Aang wants to learn firebending he's like no you're too experienced and then Roku came in and like yo bro teach him firebending and like okay <laughs> and then so uh, you know he decides to teach him firebending you know teach him you know discipline you know how to uh, breathe you know feel the sun and stuff like that and and got a little bit impatient so he's like okay i'm teaching you firebending and you know gave him a, a burning leaf and then the jowl came in john john tells him to still focus and finally you know master firebending but accidentally burned katara Sokka get pissed off katara ran off and um, you know ang feels guilty Katara learns uh, in healing water, uh, Aang uh, fights Zhao and then, um, you know, defeats him and then, bug and then they bugger off. Well done. Yeah. Well done, well said. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, I can't remember what the last episode was about, like episode 15, what was that about? Oh, I can't remember either. Uh, we'll watch the review one later on. Uh, but... I thought this episode was uh, it was okay. It's nice to see you know just um, a different side of the Fire Nation. Yeah, uh, like saying that um, uh, that not all Firebenders are evil per se. I mean, like in the that episode when uh, Aang went to meet up Roku, there was that one yeah. uh, um, sage that actually helped them to reach to the statue of Roku. Yeah, it shows that not all Firebenders are evil uh, people. Yeah, and. Um, and uh, I think this episode was important, you know, I know you don't really like this episode really yeah. to do with the uh, conflict between Aang, Katara and Zook and uh, Saka. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, love triangle. Um, and uh, I think like, uh, I mean, I know you're not really like a big fan of this, this episode, but mm. I think this episode was important. Yeah, I know. Just to show I can that, understand you know, why it's important. Yeah, just to show that, you know, Aang does make mistakes, you know, he is still young, he's very yeah. inexperienced, and I think this episode was important to show that he's very, he, like, he's a determined learner, I give him that, he's very committed, but, you know, there's a couple of times where he's just like, you know, I need to take this easy, mm -hmm. you know, do what I need to do. My one big criticism is in the, when they're, when they're in the stage, where uh, the uh, guy, you know, took the car as part of the, um, as the performance, yeah. you know, showing that like, he's uh, showing a dragon that he can't tame, and he's gonna, when Aang just rushed in and blew the dragon away, He's not gonna actually burn Katara. It's part of the. Uh, it's part of the stage. Uh, he's not gonna let his uh, audience get burned for uh, get injured by it. Well, maybe he didn't know that, like, because he was um, he was living amongst monks all his life, mm. and we don't really know if they did have like you know huge celebrations like that. Being monks, like, I think it's unlikely mm. that they will have celebrations like that. You know, monks are very calm. Really? Uh, yeah, but they but, seem like edogenic, so uh, they seem do seem Yeah, I know, but I, like, we don't really, but I don't think, uh, probably he just didn't really know. Like, he didn't know that it was all part of the mm -hmm. show. Like, he's been under rice for about 100 years. Yeah. We can let him off. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? Uh, what do you think of John John? The firebending teacher. He was basically just a grumpy Obi Wan Kenobi, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah, <laughs> that's basically what he was. Basically. Yeah, he was an old grumpy Obi Wan Kenobi or an old grumpy Yoda. Now, that's pretty much how you can actually sum him yeah. up. You can't really sum him up like yeah, anything like else. like that uh, scene with Jao and um, John Jai. It's like yeah. basically when I left you, I was nothing but the learner. Now I am the master. It's on Star Wars. This yeah, is this is whole Star Wars. <laughs> it's straight up Star Wars. Um, yeah, anything else? Um. No, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, what about Katara's uh, new ability? Yeah, the, the... Oh, a healing ability. Yeah. Uh, she's basically God. 
isn't she? She can just heal up anybody. Yeah, she's Jesus. She can just heal up anybody. Which technically Ang is Jesus in, in a way. Well, you can't heal anyone. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying that. Uh, um, Katara can run on water. She can heal people. She's the Jesus of this thing. She's Jesus. So she she is completely Jesus. She is the proper hero of the show. <laughs> Katara's gonna be the one to destroy the Firebender. It's Katara, not Ang. Katara. She is the Jesus of this group. <laughs> Well, if you think about it, no, no, we'll, we'll yeah. get that to uh, later. Yeah, we'll get that later. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's, uh, is that yep. what we could already say? Yeah, we uh, Yeah, so, what did you think of this episode? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Comment down below, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Well.